What's up, YouTube? Today we are here with, in my opinion, 2015 uh, Player of the Year, Barrett Keys. You were in four finals this year. Were they? Uh, they were back to back, and then uh, no interruption. All four. Um, I'm pretty sure it was all four in a row. There might have been one that there might have been Guatemala that I went to in between, but I don't remember. All right, and what four uh, YCSs were these? It was Anaheim, Chicago. No, Anaheim, Seattle, then Chicago, and then Columbia. And uh, what you use Necros at all of these, correct? Yeah, all four. All right, so uh, backtracking a bit here, what got you into the game of Yu-Gi-Oh? I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh when my mom's, my friend's mom bought me a starter deck. I got the Yu-Gi-Oh one, and my friend got the the Kaiba one, and the rest was history. These are the very first ones, not yeah, Evolution. The first ones, yeah. All right, that's pretty awesome. Summon Skull, Blue Eyes, and Fisher. Yeah. So, um, what got you into the competitive scene of Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, I started playing after a break in 2008, after I got out of high school, so, you know, college student, a lot more free time, I started playing, or I started with the Phantom Darkness Special Edition box, and then I just, from that point, just got more and more competitive and started traveling in 2010, and then traveling ever since. Would you consider yourself the 2015 Player of the Year with all you've done? You've topped the 150th, you were in four finals, you've won two this year. Would you consider yourself Player of the Year? Um, I don't like... I don't really like credentials or, or really using that to judge a player because, you know, there's a lot of variance in this game. Um, but no, I wouldn't pick myself. I would... Right now, I really like Omar and Denny Yu as as players. Those are my like top two favorite players right now. Yeah, Denny's always a blast to talk to. I know I've had him on my channel three times this year already. Like he's been doing really well. Also, uh, do you miss draft as a format and as a top cut tool? Uh, I miss it. I miss playing draft. Battle Pack 3 Draft is really fun to play for me because it reminds me of like old Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but as part of the top cut, no, not really. I really like to see what deck gets all the way to the end and wins the whole thing. So, I like that construction goes all the way. Yeah, I feel like deck building gets rewarded more now. Like, you built this or you, you've ironed this out, you've tested it. Like, innovation is more rewarded here. Uh, what's what's your reasoning for liking uh, it not being draft anymore for that aspect? Um, I just really like I really like the aspect that you have to build to win now as opposed to just building to get to the top cut because you know that you're likely to see the more meta decks in the top cut as opposed to the Swiss rounds. So, all right. Um... Would you say that the Yu-Gi-Oh! community is the largest community in your life? Does it take the most time out of most of your days? Um, it's a very big aspect of my life. Um, I love the game. All my... A lot of memorable experiences are from this game. I've met my closest friends from this game. So Yu-Gi-Oh! is a huge role in my life. For sure. Do you have a friend in every state now? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm sure there's like a few that are Wyoming, probably not. I don't know anyone in yeah. Maine yet, I don't think. Maybe I do. I'm sorry if I've missed you. Uh, what is your favorite experience within an event venue from a tournament? At a tournament? Um, oh, it was YCS Indianapolis 2000. 2011, I think it was plant format, and me, my friend Robert, and my friend Joe all went together and stayed in the same room and tested together. And my friend Robbie and Joe, both of them were in the finals, and both got the first Blood Memphis, and I won the side event, and so I got the third Blood Memphis. So we had three of like the first five, five Blood Memphis. So very in existence at the time, yeah. Yeah, very similar to the aspect of like the show where there's only four blue eyes in the world, and you all have three out of five of these cards. Kind of very similar. Yeah, it's it's kind of like 
a team's dream. That's Robert Boyajian, by the way, Craig. Like he, yeah. that's the indie he won. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Uh, what would your favorite traveling experience be? Like you know, not necessarily at a venue. It could be there, but like you know, flying out, maybe like basically story time. Like, what's your favorite story from your personal experience about this game? From traveling. I don't know about anything specifically, but I really enjoy traveling to international events. Just seeing like a different, like a, di- a different world almost even, because they just live very differently than like we do in the United States. Like when I went to Colombia, like seeing how they live there is just it's a completely different world, and I enjoy that aspect very much. If you could give any piece of advice to somebody who's been traveling to a few events and really wants to get better, what would you tell them to do? Um, Two things. For sure, number one, play as much as you can on Dueling Network. Dueling Network is one of the best tools, the best tool, I think, for taking the next step up as a player, just getting as much practice in as possible. And number two is having a group of of like-minded people to bounce ideas off of and and even just to theorize because I think theory is like a huge part in deck building in UU. Is there how did how did you come up through uh, finding your groups personally? Um, just at regionals, usually like regionals is where everyone from the same area gets together and you get to meet all these people and you just make friends with them and start bouncing ideas. So um, that's uh, Barrett Keys. In my opinion, 2015 player that you're not in his own opinion. Very humble. Uh, thanks for joining us here at House of Champs. Any shout outs? Any um, anybody to mention? Period. Uh, this is your time. Um, one shout out, House of Champions, for putting me up for the weekend at Dallas, YCS Dallas. Showing me a great time. Appreciated. Thank you. Thanks, man. No problem.